Who would have thought about noticing mysteries in something which is pitch black in colour? Well, space has proven itself to be capable enough to amaze all of us. Almost every day now, we learn of new objects being found in space. And guess who does that? It's NASA, at least in most cases. So what is the hottest among all the discoveries right now? Stay tuned to find out. Let us dive straight into this video. Hey there, welcome back to your favourite channel. Today's video is going to be extremely interesting and informative, so grab a snack and enjoy it till the end. Before digging deep into space, we'd like to discuss the origin of our Sun and our planets. Our Sun and the other planets are formed from a huge ball of gas and dust particles known as the Solar Nebula. It was approximately 4.6 million years ago. The process of formation didn't start spontaneously, but as a result of a shockwave from a close supernova explosion that started the collapse of the nebula. Consequently, the Sun was formed in the centre of the other planets in a very thin disk circling it. And in the same manner, the giant has planets that have their moons revolving around them. Outer solar systems had comets condensed, and quite a few of them were kicked off to enormous distances by near-gravitational interactions with the big planets. After the ignition of the Sun, a powerful solar wind cleared off all the gas and dust from the system. As a result of this, some rocky debris remained, and that came to be known as the asteroids. Now let us have a near look at the galaxy as to where we are placed in the solar system. Our home, the Milky Way galaxy, is the island of millions of stars. Let's imagine our galaxy is a disk containing spiral arms originating from the center, and our sun is approximately halfway from the middle to the noticeable edge. Exactly between the two spirals is our solar system, and once upon a time, astronomers thought that there was a sheer bridge made up of stars, gas, and dust particles. But then, modern research has stated that we live in the relatively smaller spiral arm known as the Orion Cygnus arm, sometimes called the Orion Spur as well. Now, talking about the Sun, it is the heart of our solar system and accounts for the largest planet in the solar system. 99.8% mass of the solar system is concentrated in the Sun and is 109 times the diameter of our Earth. Fun fact. You could fit in about 1 million piles of Earth in the Sun. The surface is about 10,000 degrees. Well, now you can imagine that our Sun is pretty hot. <laughs> As for the planets, the inner regions have Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, and the outer regions have Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus. After years and years of research, there is still a lot of confusion regarding the formation of Jupiter and Saturn in the initial days of our solar system. It also has some suggestive theories, such as the repeated billions between objects. Recent times have suggested a new theory that states about the development of the planets with the help of slowly forming and comparatively smaller pebbles. Recently, scientists saw some mysterious objects floating in vast space. What are these items? Are they aliens? Well, be ready to get answers to all of your questions. The first one in the line is the Kuiper Belt. No, it's not some kind of leather belt floating in space. It's nothing but an area over the solar system's history. Similar to the asteroid belt, it is also shaped by a huge planet, but it's a bit thicker. This area is still a hot topic for researchers, and our understanding is developing. Well, we are not actually in total darkness about this topic. Rather, we have explored a tiny part of it. And in this, we have found out about more than 2,000 celestial objects, which, however, raises even more questions. When we sent the New Horizon probe in April 2016, it eventually reached the darker area of the mysterious belt. Now, as the probe was moving nearer to Pluto, it noticed a weird item on a bizarre path. Scientists named it Aaron and measured it to be around 133 kilometers in diameter. Its appearance was a bit unusual. At times it was glowing brightly and at times it was dimmer, and that too in a definite rhythm. It suggests that the body is swirling, the majority of objects in the belt are composed of ice and rock, but Aaron seems to be different according to astronomers. They concluded this after observing that if it had been made of ice and rock, the speed of spinning would be so fast that it would have got torn away. But nothing is happening like that. This put the scientists in awe as to what has been the cause. Now let's have a closer look at the objects. NASA turned the probe towards Pluto, but something strange took place. As it was getting nearer to the planet, they couldn't communicate with it as if all its signals were jammed. When it got away from Aaron, there were no issues and the communication got restored. Later on, it was revealed that the incident was nothing but a computer glitch. However, NASA could get to the bottom of the reason behind the spinning. Now, if we talk about humans, we guess the Kuiper Belt is the perfect place for a hideout. Maybe in the coming future, we will get more interactions with the Kuiper Belt. Well, who knows, right? There are still some objects in the bay about which we have gathered some information. Back in 2014, scientists found a strange object in the outer aspects of our solar system and it was expected to be around 32 kilometers to be precise. 
Another fun fact, do you know what it looks like? It resembles a snowman. How cute. This confused the researchers as to how this shape was formed. They called it Arakoth and have since then been one among the favorites for astronomers. This was known as the most faraway object and considered one of the primary objects of the solar system. Well, for payment like us, encompassing such a milestone may not mean much, but little do we know how the scientists felt when they went past Pluto. Some describe it to be extremely thrilling. Now about its formation, some say this is a binary contact object having two lobes. Yes, whatever that meant. Let's get to English. The lobes are of two very different colors. It suggests that those might have been formed from two distinct objects that could have been formed over four billion years ago. But the question is, how come they stay together without colliding and damaging each other? Well, it turns out that the collision in the past were not that impactful. The gravity that made them rotate at a very small speed and bonded them together after a slight collision. Now, we do not end here. There is another object as well. And do you know what is special about this? Not its shape or size or color, it's the density. Surprisingly enough, its density is 18 times less than that of water. Could you imagine something like that? Or have you ever seen anything like that? Well, we did not know until now. Based on this fact, I suggest that it can easily float and goes by the name 2002 UX25. But its low density is a huge mystery for everyone owing to its high porosity. Another interesting object is somewhat four times smaller than UX25, but has lots of stories on its back. This is basically a planetoid, or you can say a minor planet made up of rocket ice that has a diameter of 1300 kilometers. But the researcher states that it should have been twice the present size. And they also say that maybe someday it collided with Pluto and forfeited all its materials as an outcome. Another fact that has made scientists go crazy is the fact that temperature variation has been huge over the years. It has risen from minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what do you think? What might be the reason? Did we heat it? We still don't know. The object goes by the name Kawa. Its bright surface suggests that at some point in time, it has also witnessed geological activities such as cryovolcanoes. The presence of ice and water on its surface also indicates there might have been an ocean on this planetoid. Although the sound sounds the same, the volcanoes and the cryovolcanoes are not the same. The latter ejects out ice chunks, methane instead of magma and ash. Did you imagine it? What an extraordinary view, right? If we are lucky enough, we might also witness something of this kind. Although there is no planned mission, who knows when the scientists might plan and set off for the mission. But if there's one, we will surely be the first one to let you know. So with this, we come to the end of the video. We hope you like this video. And if you like this video, do share it with your friends and family for their daily dose of knowledge. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get fresh updates on your favorite topics. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.